Hello, this is Jeff Byers. Um, how are you doing today? And I'm your instructor for Annie 150. This is Module 1, and we are just now opening up my 2020 for the first time. So you're going to see uh, this um, little box that shows up, and um, basically gives you the option of um, do you want to see new highlighted features? Um, well, you could keep those on, but as a new user, you're not going to know the difference whether they're new or not. So I would just turn these off, and just turn this show this up at start time. Okay. Um, later on, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how you can change and and move around um, and get this box again if you'd like. Uh, but go ahead and turn those two things off because I think they're they're more of a hassle and a distraction for you right now anyway. All right, click on OK. So what we're going to talk about is you saw a video on what is a polygon. Okay, so how do you create a polygon in Maya? Now you're going to learn how to uh, create uh, objects like primitives, but those are already pre-made for you, right? If I click on this uh, sphere, it will create a sphere, and we can see that it shows up right here in our in our in our box in our main view panel, our perspective view panel. Now there's going to be other videos you're going to watch to move around in here, but I just wanted to show you how do you create a polygon, and what are the polygon components, and those are things that we need to know. And we could have a quiz on on these types of things. Everything that we learn in in module one is is can be used in a in a in a in a quiz format. So creating uh, primitives is fairly easy. Moving things around is fairly easy, and you'll be learning all that stuff in 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 in, in the future videos tutorials that I've got set up for you guys to watch. But right now, um, I'm going to show you how to create a polygon. You don't have to do this because you may not know how to move around, but just kind of watch. All right, so the idea here is that I am going to go and create a polygon. Okay, so we've got uh, mesh, we've got edit mesh, and we've got mesh tools. And what we want to do is this is kind of our just this is kind of our polygon menu bar. I'm holding down the space bar, by the way, if you're not sure what I'm doing, um, and you'll learn that too. Um, we also have here's our modeling tab. Um, this is our shelf, or excuse me, our main menu uh, settings. So we can set our main menu up. And usually we just start with modeling. It should default at modeling. If not, then click on the arrow and, and default at modeling. And across here, you can see that we've got edit mesh, mesh tools, and mesh display. Um, so these are the main ones: mesh, edit mesh, and mesh tools, and mesh display. These four. You saw if I hold down the space bar, you can see them here too as well. All right. And if you tap on the space bar, you can go from the top view, the front view, the side view, and the perspective that gives us uh, four views. And if you hover over your mouse over a viewport, you can just hit the, you can tap the space bar, and it takes you into that viewport. You can get out of that uh, viewport by hitting the space tab or space bar. So if you go in here, you can go back. You can see our panel layout, and we've got the four panel layout here as well. So you can click on that and click on that. So that that'll get you. If you get all messed up and do something crazy and don't know where you're, what's happening, you can go back to the perspective view. Now you will have this open. If you click on this guy here, you can all you can click on that, move that over to the side, and to, and get rid of it if you want to. That is fortunately that is very important though, <laughs> the outliner. So anyway, uh, so we're gonna create a polygon. How do you do that? in this video tutorial um, and don't don't get freaked out I'm using the space bar holding down the space bar I'm gonna go to mesh tools and I'm gonna go to create polygon and go into the option box okay alright so in the tool settings of this I'm gonna reset the tool I can go ahead and just start and create a polygon now 
creating a polygon is pretty simple. You'll start by clicking somewhere on the viewport. Okay. All right. And I kind of followed the grid. You can see that. And I hit enter to finish it up. All right. So the polygon, when I created it, if I rotate underneath of it, okay, it's, it's black because the polygon wasn't created correctly, okay, um, uh, meaning that it's, it's, the normals are faced the wrong way because normally it is supposed to see, you're supposed to see gray, okay. So I'm going to close that, all right. And I'm going to now go, hold down my spacebar, go to mesh display and go to reverse. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reverse that normal. And you can see that it reversed the normal. If I click off, if I click on, that's how you create a triangle. That is the smallest form of a polygon. And I'm going to show you how to look at this in component mode. You can right click over it and go to vertex. I'm right clicking, holding down the right mouse button. And I can select edge, vertex, and face. And this is what a polygon is created of. It's this, these are the components. Face, vertex, and edge. If I go to face, if I click on it, it turns kind of a yellowish orange color. Okay. If I right click over it again, go to vertex, I can see that these are the vertexes, okay? And if I right click over it again and go to edge, I can click on the edges, okay? So what makes a polygon? Well, basically the it is uh vertices that are connected by edges that create a face. So it's vertices, okay? You got vertices, so if I create three vertices and then I create an edge between this vertex, it's going to be basically a line, okay? And then I create another edge between these two vertices and then an edge between these two vertices. And then once I finish that, then it creates a polygon, okay? So let's go back into selection mode, okay? Click on it, and I can delete it by hitting the delete key. Let me try that again. I'll show you how, to, how it's done again. So I'm going to tap it and go to my perspective mode, hold down the space bar, go to mesh tools, go to create polygon, and I can go into the option box, but I've already done that, so I can go back into create polygon. All right, so let's go ahead and create a vertex. So I'm going to click on that creates a vertex. See how that works? Create a vertex, click on this guy, I'm just using the grid kind of as a reference and click on this one there's two vertices and now it's created an edge okay and I'm gonna go back over here this guy right here once it's done that I've got two one two vertices with an edge one two vertices with an edge and if I hit the enter key it will finish up and connect these two together creating a face when I hit enter. Now this uh, polygon now that's now that is considered polygon because we can see it now. And so if I go hold down the space bar, just tap on the space bar and go to mesh display, I can click on reverse and that reverses the polygon so I can see it. Okay, again, to recap, if I click on it, it will become um, activated and it's green and if I want to go into component mode I can right click over it and go to vertex edge or face okay the reason why we need to be able to select these is because we can move these um, components around if we want to so if I want to click on vertex and if I want to hit the W key which is a hot key for moving I can move that vertex anywhere I want on that polygon and change the shape of the polygon. Okay, and I can move, I can hold down the Alt key and my left mouse button at the same time and move around. Now you're going to learn all this stuff <clears throat> in other videos. Another cool thing that if you have internet on, if you have your internet on, it allows you to go ahead and go to the help menu. So you can go to the help menu up on the top here and you can click on one minute startup 
movies. I'm going to have you guys watch those movies too to become more familiar with the Maya's interface. Okay? And so the only way to learn how to model is to actually do. So we're going to create a rocket ship. I've got a video I found that was really pretty cool uh, from Autodesk uh, Maya. And Autodesk can make these video tutorials. There's no reason for me to recreate these vi video tutorials. They're there for you. And you guys are going to create a rocket ship and learn more about how to navigate in the Maya UI. I always say, I always tell students that it's the only way to learn a, a user interface is to actually create something. Okay? All right. So these are really cool tutorials for you guys. You can go ahead and watch that. But this is how you create a polygon. Okay? Alright, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.